Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out a few months, weeks ago-ish, and I hated it, and there's a whole video on my channel explaining why I hated it, and so today I'm gonna read reviews of other people saying why they hated it, and talk about it. Welcome to Reviewing Reviews on Letterboxd, my new thing that I'm doing, sometimes. Let's start. <laughs> <clears throat> So, first one, by Tyler, who has, uh, Rick Dalton, but the other guy, uh, from Once Upon a Time as his profile picture. This literally happened to my friend Lori four years ago. He's obviously referring to Halloween. Yes, it's a tired trope, and it's only been done three times. I mentioned that in the other video, but still. Scream, which just came out, I didn't see it. I've never seen any Scream movie, I don't know why. The Halloween and now this, they all have the same fucking trope of bringing the old woman back to go kill him. And it doesn't work in any of them. It works the best with Lori because at least she's kind of established, but I mean, I don't even know who this woman is. I don't think anyone does. Does anyone remember her name? Probably not. Netflix should waive next month's fee as an apology for putting this movie out. That's pretty good. I like that one. That's funny. I agree. No, this was... Let me set the scene for how I watched this, in case, in case no, anyone cares, which you don't. But, it was 3 a.m. in this very room that I'm in right now, completely dark, two headphones in. Okay, watching it on my laptop. You could show me a picture of a kitten, like, screaming or something, and I would be freaked the fuck out. Like, I was in the, in the place and time to get fucking scared. Okay, I wanted to be scared by the end of this. I didn't want to go to sleep. Okay? I slept like a fucking baby. I was not fucking scared once. I've seen porn with better writing and directing than this. That's probably true. I don't know any porn I was writing. Backdoor sluts go nuts for coconuts, something? I don't know. Try anything and you're cancelled, bro, is almost as bad as do your thing, cuz. I mentioned that in the other video, too. Hilarious. Alright, here, here's a long one that we can actually read and get some content for you. By George Clark. A complete wreck of a film that's brutal kills are nowhere near what you'd want and holds a storyline that is as bland as... Jesus Christ, I can't read. Restart. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a dumpster fire. A complete wreck of a film that's brutal kills are nowhere near what you'd want and holds a storyline that's as bland and uninspiring as they come. This supposedly had record low test screening scores, and it's easy to see why. It is a completely miscalculated mix of over-the-top gore that provides very little to no scares, mm -hmm. and incoherent social commentary that fails to inspire competent, compelling storyline throughout. It's a film that's characters are bland, the villain is even blander, kills are tame, and one that every, I think it means, he says ever, but every decision makes you question why you're watching it. The ending is infuriating, and every decision that's come before proves to be nothing but bland. I've never seen the original, but hell, it can't be worse than this. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a dumpster fire, a film I deeply hated. He's right about everything! I can't believe I haven't seen the original, though, man. You gotta watch it. It's actually, um... It's, uh, it's better than this. <laughs> so, Harlow is a ghost town. We have a vision for this place. All it needs is young blood. I don't want to live here. This is a chance for people to start fresh somewhere. Somewhere safe. Ooh, this guy gave it a four stars. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't finish that thought, but... This guy gave it a four stars. What a monster. Let's watch. Let's read. Uh, it's so long. Should I just do it anyways? Oh, God. I'm gonna do it. The Tes... The Tesla chainsaw? Oh, because he read the Tesla at the end. <laughs> Mean-spirited, visceral trash that I couldn't help but be entertained by. You're an idiot. This looks great, but the soundtrack is very solid. Not really. And it's veritab and it's a ver veritable funhouse bloodbath movie that I ended up liking more than I thought I would. There's some issues here and there. Legacy character stuff. That's like the whole movie. But the gore was great. The tone felt very 2000s in nature. That's not a good thing. And the traditional slasher vibes at play were a welcome change from the usual aesthetic-driven misery, misery sludge that's oversaturating the genre. That stuff was oversaturating the genre ten years ago. It's not doing it anymore. What's do what's oversaturating the genre now is these stupid remakes. Come on. 
I don't know why I'm like this, bro. I, I don't know. I actually love this franchise, said no one ever. Over time, it's become the one I've started to revisit more often. From Toby's Nuts So Carnival of Mayhem TSM2, which I, I, TSM, TCM2, uh, which I have not seen, I've heard great things of, though. I heard Chop Shop's dope. Anyways, to the much maligned Next Generation, don't even know what that is, to the better than its reputation slop grind of the beginning, I don't know what that is either. To the super fun and idiotic Texas Chainsaw 3D, that movie's impossible to watch, it's so bad. And this new film reminds me of a weirdo mishmash of the last two I just mentioned, that's not a good thing. More so than all the Halloween 2018 comparisons, I get it, the legacy character and whatnot. But this is nothing like that movie, and it doesn't take itself nearly as seriously. He's right about that. He is right, it doesn't take itself seriously. So it's... That's a thing, I guess. Does it make it better? No. This movie is dumb and engaging. It's not engaging. With the school shooting backdrop, ugh, it's a bit rough. And hipster keep Austin weird character, oh, population. But I'm not coming to this type of movie for some re re revelation or serious self-image wrapped in trauma, guilt, or whatever BuzzFeed article horror. Community trend virtue signaling is hot at the moment. What the fuck does that even mean? Man, I swear to God, I'm not plugged in enough to read some of these fucking reviews. You can put it in there, and some of it's going to stick, but in the long run, I just want to see a beefy hillbilly slob chase after idiots with a chainsaw. Fair enough, but I disagree, because when the characters are idiots, you don't care what happens. You need at least a smart character. At least one. At least one you can somewhat root for. Because if you're rooting for the villain, you're not watching a Texas Chainsaw movie, you are watching a fucking Godzilla movie. I, I swear to God. Anyways, over the last months alone, I've watched at least 10 toilet plot movies with manufactured cult status via expensive boutique Blu-ray label marketing nonsense. Movies now labeled as hidden masterpieces and praised via label fanboy folks justifying their $37 Blu-ray purchases to add to their massive unwatched collection while spinning off Wikipedia found protection notes all over Facebook groups. This movie was better than all of those movies. And said internet folk actually... Internet folk people actually feel very similar to the busload of idiots who get slaughtered in this movie, lol. So color me surprised when this focus less on being cringe legacy sequel... Oh, okay, when did it do that? That's all it was. And more being its own thing. A slasher movie with half its brain spilling out of the concrete from self-induced head trauma. Plus it flies by and it isn't two and a half hours long. That's true, it is like an 80 minutes, <laughs> which is something. One of the few movies where everyone on Letterboxd who I thought would hate it, hated it, and everyone who I figured would like it, liked it. Fascinating. Toby's super original film is an untouchable cinematic monolith, and nothing in this world or any other could ever tarnish it. I don't take any of these sequels seriously, and neither should you, plus this trend of haphazardly receiving smartly engaging idiot slasher movies that keep popping up is a welcome return, if you ask me. I love the ending in this. Oh, God. And it legit made me cackle like a drunken banshee. I like what I like. Oh, well. <laughs> At least he's honest. I don't know how you like this, though. It was so, so not engaging. I, did anyone call this movie? Engaging is an interesting word for it. I'd call it boring as shit and totally predictable. But hey, okay. I'm glad he liked it. You know, I'm glad it's for someone. Oh, there's another four star. Oh my god. Why are all the four stars long as shit? It's because they have to explain why they like it, because no one else fucking does, because it's bad. Anyways, from Tony the Terror, the little cat and the little rainbow flag. This was much better than I thought I was expecting it to be. Okay, well, okay. Expecting it to be. Sorry, I read it wrong, not you. Huh? I can't believe so many people are comparing this original when it's not even the actual original sequel. To what? Compare this to the original when not even the actual original sequel tried to do that. Like, did y'all forget Toby himself knew there was no point in trying to recreate the tone of his own work so he went completely in the opposite direction? What? What? I'm confused. There were plenty of terrific tense moments and no, no, no. No, no, no. And a couple of scenes that totally caught me off guard, so well done there. Dude, what? Have you never seen a horror movie before? What are you talking about? 
everything is so obviously set up. <laughs> There's a bus full of people. There's going to be a bus thing that happens. Come on. Jesus Christ. Anyways, I mean, you guys, this is better than most of the chronological sequels, so I'm not sure what you were expecting. I can't. I don't, I've never seen them. I think this is a phenomenal job recasting Sally. That wasn't even the same actress. Was I never looked into it because I didn't care, but what? Sally's her name. I didn't know that. Interesting. Okay, well, I, you learn something new every day, I guess. But, um, anyways, blah, 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 blah. This does basically turn into Jason or Michael, true. Um, it's also violent as fuck. No, it's not. And it went, it went a lot further than I was expecting to. Bro, you have not seen violent if you think this shit's violent. This is nothing. I like to not Instagram culture and how ridiculous it is. It was so, so ham-fisted. What do you mean? But I didn't love it. Okay, well, at least he doesn't love it, right? I mean, I absolutely grew, but the whole scene felt kind of hokey on the whole. Yeah, no shit it did. That, no shit. Ah. Overall, though, I think this is a great addition to the series. No, it's not. Which is clearly not on the same page as a lot of people. But you know I am who I am, and I've been watching this shit for a long time, so that's kind of mean something. It doesn't, and I don't trust your opinion. Moving on. But, you know, he does, okay, he does at least justify himself to why he likes it, so that's okay. Elvis the Alien says, bro, I'm out. Nice. Fifty years I've been waiting for this night. Just to see him again. Who? Leatherface. Okay, okay. Saw a lot of bad reviews that I almost didn't want to see it, but someone I knew personally that I respect their opinion said it was decent, but the bar of expectation for me was still really low. This is by Dry Di Dire Not. I felt it was decent. It's not a remake, but a direct sequel to the first one. Too bad that Marilyn Burns is no longer alive to place. Okay, so the actress that played the original Sally died. Oh, I did not know that. Though I do think that Olin Ferreri had a good performance with the role. I also like. That's so weird that they did that then! Oh, why'd they do that? Oh, that makes it so much worse. I hate that! Oh my god, that seems so fucked up. They just. She died? Let's just bring her character back with it. That's so fucked. Anyways, okay. Yikes, man. How are they defending that? Jesus. Okay. But you didn't even need it. You didn't need her to come back. That seems so strange that they did that. Oh my god. Most of the characters are basically throwaway characters. The gore was really good. No, it wasn't. The gore was so bad. The bus scene was corny and awesome at the same time. It was so bad. If you like horror, this one is decent. But if you don't like sequels, you might want to pass. Who doesn't like sequels? Is there someone out there that just doesn't like sequels, even if it's a good movie? Is there someone out there that says, fuck the Dark Knight because it's a sequel? No one cares if it's a sequel. It just happens to be that most sequels are worse than the original. What are they... Do what? That, makes n I'm s that made no sense. Oh my god. Bus scene was corny and awesome. Bro, if you think that bus scene was awesome, Jesus Christ, I don't even know what to tell you. I was a teenager in the decade of the sequels of the 80s, so I never mind a follow-up. You can check it out on Netflix. Thanks, bud. Well, die or not. Um, fuck you. <laughs> no. But I disagree. Wholeheartedly. Okay, this one, okay, this one he did not rate it. He probably gave it a zero, honestly, and it just doesn't show up. But it's by Nikusen, who I don't know, but he has a suit and tie on his profile picture, so you know he's legit. It's so funny to bring back Sally after 50 years and have her instantly get demolished by Leatherface. So they all know Sally by, their fir by her first name, that's interesting. I had no idea, I could not remember it to save my life. Also laughed out loud at the perverse glee of the final kill. I'm glad this movie stopped trying to position Leatherface as an unknowable void of evil, and instead accepted that he is actually sort of an impish dickhead. What? Feel like the producers spent a lot of time saying Midsummer to each other on set when they should have been saying Ratatouille? Thinking how electric it would be if there was some small rat controlling everything underneath the skin of the mess all the time. That would be a reimagining. What? What the hell does that even mean, saying Midsummer? Like it's you that he wants. I'm not gonna let him kill you. Fear no evil. Fear no evil. Liam says, "Very bad movie." Hmm. 
Never mind, it's ten paragraphs long. I am gonna stop. Okay. This movie is bad. Don't watch it. Thank you. That's all I have to say.